Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet for Life. In this video, I gonna share with you how to crochet this so beautiful and really easy baby romper. This baby romper is so beautiful and so soft and really easy to make. I made this one for this matching set. In my previous video, I show how to make this matching set. Then I have so many lovely comments. Thank you very much for everyone. This baby romper is so comfortable for baby. You can see it's really easy to wear. Also really easy to make. Even beginners can make too. I am gonna give you all details step by step. I really love this baby romper. I hope you will love too. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you are new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, before I start the tutorial, I am going to show you my finished set. I made this baby hat using the same pattern. You can get the 5 different size, newborn to 2 years. And this baby romper is really easy to make. I am going to give you all detail step by step. You can get the 5 different size, newborn to 2 years. This one for 0 to 3 months size. You can get the 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12 and 1 to 2 years. This one is so comfortable for baby and really easy to wear for babies. You can see it's really easy to wear for babies. I'm going to give you 5 different size with this same pattern. It's so comfortable for baby. And this baby cardigan I made using same pattern. It's so beautiful. You can get the 5 different size with this same pattern cardigan. 0 to 2 years with this same pattern. And this baby blanket is really nice size for the baby. I'm using beautiful border for this baby blanket. It's come out beautiful finishing. You can see it's both sides look same. I really love this baby set. I hope you will love too. I'm going to give you this all link in the description down below. I'm going to make this baby romper. I'm going to give you 5 different size with this same pattern. This size for 0 to 3 month size. I'm going to give you 5 size 0 to 2 years with using this same pattern. I'm using white color yarn. You can use any color yarn for this baby romper. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is 4. This yarn ball have 100 gram 330 meters. This one yarn ball enough to make a 0 to 3 month size baby romper. If you gonna make a different size, we need 2 yarn ball. Then you can use this border and a baby hat and a romper enough for the 2 yarn ball. I'm going to make 0 to 3 months size. Then I need one yarn ball. I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook to make this baby romper. If you like to make the different size, you can use the different size yoke. In my previous video, I show how to make the different size. This one for 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12 and 1 to 2 years. This 5 different size, I'm going to use this size 1, 0 to 3 month size. If you want to make the newborn size, you can use this size 1 with the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to make 0 to 3 month size. First, I'm going to start with this foundation chain. To begin, slip knot and a chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 
this 42 for the 0 to 3 month size different size need the different number of chain skip 1 2 3 chain into the 4th chain skip first 3 chain into the 4th chain 1 double crochet Now I have a one double crochet. This first three chain I'm gonna count first double crochet. Then I have a one, two double crochet into the next chain, one double crochet again into the next chain, one double crochet again into the next chain, one double crochet into the next chain, one double crochet. Then I have all together. 6 double crochet. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 double crochet. I'm going to make first corner chain 1 into the same chain 1 double crochet. This is the first corner. Again into the next chain 1 double crochet. Okay, you can use the different size yoke to make the different size Romper. I'm gonna use 0 to 3 month size. In my previous video, I show how to make the different size yoke. You can use this different size yoke. This one for 0 to 3 month size, 3 to 6 month, 6 to 9 month, 9 to 12 month, and 1 to 2 years. I'm gonna give you this all link in the description down below. I'm gonna use this size 1, 0 to 3 month size. You can see here I have a 6 rows. We need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 rows for the 0 to 3 month. Different size have a different number of rows. After first 6 rows, I am going to show you how to use this pattern for the baby romper. Use the part 1 video to make the first 6 rows. Now I am nearly finished first 6 rows using part 1 video. You can see I have finished 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows using part 1 video. This all different size have a different number of double crochet. This one have a 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 10, 14, 18, 22, 25, 27, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. This the all different number of double crochet for the each rows. Different size have a different number of double crochet. You can get all different size in a description down below. Now I'm gonna use this pattern for the this baby yoke. You can see the same size. If you want to make the newborn size, you can use the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook with the same number of double crochet. This one for 0 to 3 month, or if you want, you can use the different size yoke. I'm gonna show you all different size to how to make this baby romper with the using same pattern now I have a six rows next I'm gonna start row seven row seven start with the chain one turn your work other side into the same space one single crochet now I have a one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet I'm gonna make into each double crochet to one single crochet five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 single crochet. Now I have a front side 16 single crochet. Next Put this first and second corner together. Go through this first and second corner and make one single crochet. Now I have a 17. Again into this double crochet, one single crochet. Into the next double crochet, one single crochet. This 0 to 3 month, I'm not increasing any single crochet. It's coming into each double crochet to one single crochet. Then we can get the 0 to 3 month size 66 single crochet 3 to 6 month we're going to increase one shell into this corner then 
I'm going to increase into this last double crochet to two single crochet into this corner, two single crochet into this first double crochet to two single crochet. Then we can get the 72 single crochet around to this three to six month. Six to nine month, we need 90 single crochet, nine to 12. We have to increase in this corner, then we can get the 88 single crochet, 1 to 2 years, we need 96 single crochet. This one for 0 to 3 month size, then I need end of this row 7, 66 single crochet, continue this single crochet into each double crochet to 1 single crochet, put this third and fourth corner together, make 1 single crochet, again into each double crochet to 1 single crochet. Now I'm nearly finished this row 7. I made into each double crochet one single crochet is coming 16. In this corner have a 1, back side have a 32, this corner have a 1, again front side have a 16. All together 66 single crochet. Now I'm going to start the pattern. Start with the chain 1, turn your work other side, into the same space one single crochet skip next single crochet into the next skip one single crochet into the next five double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet and five double crochet now you can see I have a 5 double crochet, skip next single crochet into the next single crochet. Again, skip 1 into the next 5 double crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 double crochet, skip 1 single crochet into the next single crochet. Again, skip one into the next five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five double crochet. Skip one single crochet into the next single crochet. Again, skip one into the next five double crochet. 2, 3, 4, and 5 double crochet. Skip 1 into the next single crochet. Then we in this corner single crochet, single crochet. Now you can see I have a 1, 2, 3, 4 shell for the front side. This one for 0 to 3 month size. We need 4 shell for the front side. And a back side is start with same way. Skip 1 single crochet into the next single crochet to 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Double crochet, skip single crochet into the next single crochet to single crochet. Again, skip one into the next single crochet to five double crochet. You can continue this pattern all the way to this first row for this pattern. I'm going to show you end of this row. Now I'm nearly finished this first row for this pattern. Skip one single crochet into the next single crochet to five double crochet. Four. And a 5 double crochet. You can see I have a 4 shell for the front side. I skip 1 into this last single crochet to is coming single crochet. Now you can see I have a 4 for the front and 8 shell for the back side and a 4 shell for the front side. This one for 0 to 3 month size. 3 to 6 months. 3 to 6 month is coming. For this front side, we need 4. We have to increase 1 shell for this corner. Here 1 and this corner 1. The same shell 4, 8, 4. We have to make 
two shell in a corner. Six to nine month, we need five for the front, ten for the back, again five for the front, altogether twenty. Nine to twelve, we need five, one for this corner, ten for the back side, this corner one, again front side five. Is coming twenty two shell. One to two years is coming six shell and a back side twelve shell. Again front side six shell. Altogether twenty four shell. This is the all different size shell we need for the first row. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen shell. I have a sixteen shell for the zero to three month size. Row two for this pattern. I'm going to start with the chain one, two, three. Turn your work other side into this same space. Double crochet and one more double crochet all together. Three double crochet with the first three chain. I have a three double crochet here. I have a five double crochet. Skip first two double crochet, middle double crochet into this third double crochet using back loop. Here I have a two loops. You can see here I have a two loop using only back loop. Make one single crochet. Again, skip next two double crochet into this single crochet using only back loop. Five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and a five double crochet. Again, middle of this previous shell into this third double crochet using only back loop, single crochet. Again, into the this single crochet using only back loop, five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five double crochet into the third double crochet of the previous shell using only back loop, single crochet. You can see using only Single crochet make the five double crochet using only back loop. Pa continue this pattern all the way to the second row. I'm going to show you end of the second row into the next single crochet using only back loop five double crochet one, two, three, four, and five double crochet. Middle of the previous shell using this third double crochet using only back loop, single crochet into this last single crochet using both loop, three double crochet using both loop, three double crochet, one, two, and a three double crochet. Now I have finished second row for this pattern. You can see it's coming little small 3d shell next i gonna increase the this pattern now i finished two rows row three this you can see is inside all shell same number of double crochet and i gonna increase in the front side now this this one is going to front side Chain one, turn your work other side into the same space, one single crochet. Skip this next two double crochet. Use this single crochet. Make using only back loop. Seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven double crochet. 
here have a seven double crochet skip two double crochet using this middle double crochet that means third double crochet using only back loop make one single crochet again into the next single crochet using only back loop make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven double crochet you can see here have a seven double crochet middle of the this previous shell using only back loop single crochet continue this pattern you can see this first row is coming to front side again third row is coming to front side continue this pattern using seven double crochet into each single crochet using only back loop i'm going to show you end of this third row for this pattern single crochet using only back loop into this last single crochet to seven double crochet using only back loop one two three four five six and seven double crochet into this last double crochet using both loop single crochet now you can see i'm finished three rows for this pattern is coming this side for the front side is coming five shell and next one is coming seven shell next i'm going to start row four row four is going same as the row two is going start with the chain three turn your work other side into the same space two double crochet same as the row two one and two double crochet this first three chain i'm going to count first double crochet then i have a three double crochet this previous shell i have a seven double crochet skip three double crochet into the fourth double crochet using only back loop single crochet again skip the next three double crochet into the single crochet using only back loop five double crochet this row is going same as the row two using only back loop five double crochet one two three four and a five double crochet now you can see I have five double crochet. Skip three double crochet into the fourth double crochet. Skip three double crochet into the fourth double crochet using only back loop single crochet. Again into the next single crochet using only back loop five double crochet. One, two, three, four and a five double crochet into the fourth double crochet using only back loop single crochet you can see this fourth row is coming like this into the single crochet to five double crochet into this middle of the previous shell single crochet follow this pattern all the way to this row four i'm nearly finished row four into this last single crochet using both loop three double crochet one two and three double crochet now i finish four rows you can see one two three four rows row one have a five double crochet row three have a seven double crochet row five i'm going to increase chain one turn your work at the side into the same space single crochet skip next two double crochet into the single crochet using back loop modern double crochet go through the back loop now i have three loops on a hook go through the first loop 
next go through the next two loop go through this last two loop this is the modern double crochet we need seven modern double crochet one two and a three four five six and seven seven modern double crochet you can see one two three four five six seven modern double crochet here have a five double crochet skip two double crochet into this third double crochet using only back loop single crochet again into the next single crochet using only back loop seven modern double crochet one two three four five six and a seven modern double crochet previous shell have a five double crochet into this middle third double crochet top using only back loop single crochet continue this pattern all the way to this row five it coming single crochet to five modern double crochet i'm going to show you end of this row five now i'm nearly finished this row five into this single crochet using only back loop seven modern double crochet two three four five six and seven modern double crochet now i have a seven modern double crochet i'm gonna finish this row five using first and last shell together you can see in here one two three four five row five i'm gonna join this first and last shell together then five shell is coming to inside increase shell is coming to outside that means seven modern double crochet is coming to outside like this go through the third double crochet skip next two double crochet go through this last double crochet and the first single crochet for the row five make one single crochet now i finish row five i gonna make five double crochet for the inside then i gonna start with the chain three one two three chain turn your work other side this three chain gonna count first double crochet into the same space two double crochet this is the round six into the same space two double crochet one and two double crochet this first three chain is the first double crochet then it's coming one two three double crochet this row sorry this round is we need five double crochet this previous shell have a seven modern double crochet go through the fourth modern double crochet using only back loop single crochet into the next single crochet is coming five double crochet two three four five five double crochet go through the fourth modern double crochet using only back loop single crochet again into this single crochet is coming five double crochet continue this pattern all around to this round six now i'm nearly finished round six into this fourth the modern double crochet top single crochet using only back loop you can see here i have a three double crochet we need two more double crochet into the same space one 
and two then is coming all together five double crochet go through the first third chain and a slip stitch now I complete round six round six I made with the five double crochet this five double crochet is going to the inside next round seven round seven is going same as the round five seven modern double crochet turn your work at the side into this single crochet seven modern double crochet using only back loop one two three four five six and a seven modern double crochet we have a seven modern double crochet previous shell have a five double crochet go through the third double crochet using only back loop single crochet again into the next single crochet using only back loop seven modern double crochet now we not increase any more double crochet continue this pattern all around this round seven I'm going to show you end of this round seven now I'm nearly finished this round seven into this last single crochet using only back loop seven modern double crochet one two three four five six and a seven modern double crochet now I have a seven modern double crochet one two three four five six seven this is the round six round six shell go through this slip stitch space and single crochet now I finished row seven we have to repeat row six and seven is the repeat row next row is going same as the row six start with the chain three one two three turn your work other side into the same space two double crochet this first three chain is coming first double crochet then is coming three double crochet go through this previous shell middle of this previous shell using only back loop single crochet again into the next single crochet is coming five double crochet using only back loop you know this pattern now you can continue this pattern to your rompa size it's only two rows to repeat row six and row seven is the repeat rows you can continue this row six and row seven to your own size go through this previous shell top using only back loop single crochet now you can see I'm finished seven rows you can continue this row eight is coming same as the row six row nine is coming same as the row seven continue this pattern to your room size I'm going to show you how to divide the two legs for the romper this five double crochet shell is coming to inside seven modern double crochet shell is coming to the outside like this you can see this the zero to three month size zero to three month size we need this the first two increase shell this the modern double crochet one two three four five six seven eight modern double crochet shell for the zero to three month size all together it's coming outside one two three four five six seven eight nine ten shell for the zero to three month side then it's coming ten shell for the outside inside have a nine shell all together we need 19 rows for the zero to three month size we have to continue row six and row seven for the your 
repeat rows 3 to 6 we need 21 rows 6 to 9 23 rows 9 to 12 25 rows 1 to 2 years 27 rows that's the all different size we need you can continue this hat method to your romper side is going to round this with the pattern i gonna give you this link in the description down below you know this pattern how to continue this round with this hat now i'm nearly finished round 19 with the seven modern double crochet go through this slip stitch make single crochet now i finished 19 rows for the 0 to 3 month size when you finish the 19 rows you can see it's coming 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 shell for the outside side is coming 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 shell 9 rows then it's all together coming 19 rows for the 0 to 3 month size 19 rows is coming around 30 centimeter 30 centimeter or 12 inches 12 inches 3 to 6 month we need 21 rows 6 to 9 23 rows 9 to 12 25 rows 1 to 2 years 27 rows you can continue this pattern with your size now i'm gonna divide these two legs here i have a 1 2 3 4 one, two, three, four, and this side have a eight shell. Then I'm gonna make eight shell for the one leg, and other side is coming eight shell. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shell. This the middle. Here have a sixteen shell altogether. Go through this middle of this shell. And this side have one, two, three, four, altogether eight, eight shell. Now I'm gonna divide this eight shell for the one leg and other eight shell for the other side. Start with the chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work other side into the same space. I have to repeat this row six now into the same space two double crochet first three chain i'm going to count first double crochet then i have a three double crochet all together here i have a seven modern double crochet go through the four double crochet top using only back loop single crochet again into the next single crochet five double crochet into this previous shell top using only back loop single crochet continue this pattern all around to this eight shell now i'm nearly finished go through this shell single crochet into this space into this single crochet using both loop one double crochet two double crochet and a three double crochet now you can see i have a three double crochet chain one turn your work other side into the same space single crochet into the single crochet is coming again seven modern double crochet using only back loop one two three four five six and seven modern double crochet into this five shell top 
using only back loop single crochet you know this pattern you can continue this pattern all the way to the this side into here seven modern double crochet go through this third double crochet and single crochet using both loop next round is going with the five double crochet chain three turn your work at the side into the same space two double crochet now I have altogether three double crochet go through this previous shell top using only back loop single crochet into the next single crochet using both loop now I'm using both loop five double crochet one two three four and five double crochet single crochet for the previous shell top using only back loop continue this pattern into this single crochet to using both loop five double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this side into this last single crochet is coming three double crochet using both loop now I finished three rows extra three shell rows for the this side leg you can see I made same pattern with the three rows for the zero to three month size you have to make other side same as this side I gonna finish this side leg now I finished three shell with the three rows next I gonna make last three round for this leg start with the chain three one two three turn your work at the side into each double crochet two I gonna make one double crochet into each double crochet is coming one double crochet into this single crochet one double crochet into the each double crochet is coming one double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this other side is coming into each double crochet to one double crochet and the single crochet to one double crochet is coming seven into this single crochet to one double crochet to this side I made into each stitch one double crochet into this last stitch one double crochet now I finish four rows row five start with the chain three turn your work at the side this row I gonna make into the each double crochet to front force and back force double crochet into the first double crochet front force double crochet into the next double crochet is coming back force double crochet again into the next double crochet is coming front force double crochet into the next is coming back force double crochet it's coming front force and back force double crochet for this double crochet continue this pattern all the way to the other side now I'm nearly finished this front force and back force double crochet back force double crochet front force double crochet You can tie this stitch then you can get the beautiful finishing go through the last stitch one double crochet now I'm gonna make last round start with the chain two turn your work other side into the back force double crochet is coming back force 
half double crochet that first half double crochet front first half double crochet last three round sorry last three row is the same for the all different size finish with the last three rows you can make the legs longer with the shell round you can tie this stitch then you can get the beautiful finishing you have to tie it like this continue this pattern all the way to the this side front force half double crochet back force half double crochet finish with this last into this last stitch half double crochet go through this stitch sorry go through this stitch and half double crochet this last three rows is same for the all different size if you want to make the this legs longer you can increase this shell rows i made three shell rows for the zero to three month if you want a three to six month you can go through the four rows if you want a little bit longer you can add more rows uh, the last three rows is same for the all different size this side is going same as the other side we start this side for this side here and here the stitch mark we put in a, we turn to the after eight shell this the stitch mark space i'm going to start other side leg in the same space I'm going to join this yarn in here and make three chain into the same space is coming two double crochet then it's coming all together three double crochet into this previous shell top single crochet into the single crochet is coming five double crochet we have to start this row this side leg when we finish the first row for the legs we have to start with the same space five double crochet into this previous shell top using only back loop single crochet now you know how to continue this pattern you can continue this pattern to your three rows for the zero to three month size after this coming last three rows same as the this front force and back force double crochet continue this same as the this side i'm going to show you how to finish here into this last stitch half double crochet now you can see i finished both side now my hook on the front side this is the front side this open is coming to back side this front side i'm going to make the button holes for this side start with the chain one start with chain one into this half double crochet to one single crochet into this double crochet i'm going to make two single crochet again into the next double crochet to single crochet If you feel in this one it's getting open you can use the second double crochet to close this open like this again into the double crochet is coming to single crochet single crochet is coming one single crochet into this stitch two single crochet I'm going to use this second double crochet to close this space into this corner into this single crochet I'm going to make slip stitch again into this double crochet to two single crochet single crochet to one single crochet double crochet is coming sorry single crochet to one single crochet double crochet to two single crochet
double crochet to two single crochet into this last stitch two single crochet one and a two now I finish first row for this side next second row start with the chain one turn your work other side before I start the second row I am going to mark the buttonhole this side is coming to buttonhole for the front side I am going to mark five buttonhole for this side two and this side two this corner to one I am using different color yarn to mark the buttonhole this corner into this slip stitch one buttonhole end of this row one buttonhole between this corner and this slip stitch to one buttonhole again this side have a three, two and this side I gonna mark two into this single crochet one middle of this side and into the second single crochet this corner to second single crochet to one this is the five button hole is coming one two three four five this second row start I start with already chain one turn your work other side into the same space one single crochet I'm gonna add the small size button then I'm gonna make only one chain if you're gonna make the bigger size you can make the two chain I skip this single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet one two three four and a five single crochet this is the second buttonhole chain one skip this buttonhole single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet this is the second buttonhole one two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet into this last single crochet to this side single crochet this is the third buttonhole into this single crochet single crochet five single crochet this is the third one chain one skip this buttonhole space this stitch into the next single crochet one single crochet one two three four and chain one skip this single crochet into the next single crochet two three four and five single crochet chain one into this last stitch single crochet sorry chain one for the last buttonhole into this last last stitch single crochet this is the last buttonhole chain one turn your work other side into this last stitch single crochet now I'm gonna make third row third row is going into this chain space is coming two single crochet together into this chain space two single crochet skip next single crochet into the next single crochet skip one into the next single crochet this is the first buttonhole this is the second one now into this second buttonhole chain is space is coming two single crochet one two after two single crochet skip next single crochet 
into the next single crochet continue this row 3 into each single crochet to single crochet into chain space two single crochet after sing two single crochet skip the next single crochet into this buttonhole space two single crochet into this last buttonhole space is coming two single crochet into this last stitch single crochet now I finished three rows for this buttonhole side I'm gonna cut this yarn and tie this yarn this is the five buttonhole space one two three four five this buttonhole is coming to front side this back side is going to add the buttons then we have to continue the same way three rows I'm going to show you how to start I'm going to join the yarn in here join the yarn with the chain one into the same space single crochet into the double crochet is coming two single crochet is coming double crochet to two single crochet single crochet to one single crochet into this corner slip stitch continue this row all the way to this corner now I finish first row all the way to this side with a single crochet second row start with the chain one into the next stitch single crochet this row is going into each single crochet to one single crochet I'm gonna show you how to make this corner sorry middle I made into each single crochet to one single crochet into this slip stitch into this slip stitch is coming one single crochet again into each single crochet one single crochet now you know how to continue this second row and third row continue this all the way to each single crochet one single crochet turn corner turn with the chain one and into each single crochet to single crochet now I'm finished three rows I made into each single crochet to one single crochet now I finished three rows for the button side this three rows for same for all different side this side is coming to back side for this romper I'm gonna add five button for this romper one two three four five that's how it's coming five button for this romper you have to add the button for this side then it's coming close like this when I add the five button I'm going to show you how to finish this romper back side open in here now I finished to add these five buttons you can see this five button is coming to this side and this the back side is coming to this side it's really easy to wear for baby when you add the buttons for this side and so comfortable for babies now I'm gonna make the buttonhole for this top I'm gonna add yarn in here this side I'm gonna add the buttonhole before I had that buttonhole I had to make the one single crochet row I'm gonna make into this double crochet to is coming two single crochet single crochet is coming one single crochet 
Continue this row with the single crochet. From now, please follow this video. this last double crochet I'm going to make two single crochet second single crochet I'm using this second double crochet to make a single crochet last single crochet into this foundation chain now I finish first row with the single crochet next I'm going to make this row two before I make the row two I'm going to mark the buttonhole I'm gonna mark in here into the second single crochet one buttonhole I'm gonna make two buttonhole next one I'm gonna make in here if you want you can add a three buttonhole I'm gonna make two buttonhole row two start with the chain one chain one turn your work other side into the same space one single crochet into the same space one single crochet I'm gonna add the small size button then I'm gonna make only one chain chain one skip this single crochet with this buttonhole space and to the next single crochet next is going into each single crochet to one single crochet continue the single crochet all the way to the second buttonhole if you're gonna add bigger size button you can make two chain I'm gonna add the small size button then is enough one chain this is the second buttonhole chain one skip this buttonhole single crochet into the next single crochet one single crochet now you can continue this row two I'm gonna make into each single crochet to one single crochet Now I'm nearly finished this row two. I made into each single crochet to one single crochet. Into this last single crochet, I'm gonna make slip stitch. Row three, start with the chain one, turn your work other side. Into the next single crochet, one single crochet. This row three is going into each single crochet to one single crochet into this buttonhole chain I'm gonna make two single crochet into this chain is spaced two single crochet skip next single crochet into the next one single crochet again into a single crochet to one single crochet continue this single crochet all the way to the first buttonhole space into this chain space it's coming two single crochet into this chain space two single crochet into this last stitch 
single crochet. Now I finished three rows for this side. We can remove this stitch marker. Next, I'm going to make single crochet around to this neck. Chain one into the same space, one single crochet. Between these two double crochet, single crochet. Again, between these two double crochet, single crochet. I'm going to show you how to turn this corner. This is the first corner. I skip this two double crochet into this double crochet space, single crochet. Now you know how to go in this around to this neck. Continue this pattern all the way to this side. Now I finished single crochet around to this neck. This corner turn with the into this last stitch single crochet. Chain 1 into the same space, single crochet. That's how it's going to turn this corner. Single crochet using next double crochet, single crochet. Now you can continue this first row for this side. This side is the button. We have to add the button for this side. It's going with the double crochet to two single crochet single crochet to one single crochet continue this single crochet all the way to the here now i'm nearly finished first row for this side into this last stitch is coming slip stitch now i finished this first row second row start turn your work other side i'm not gonna add the chain into the next stitch single crochet Again into each single crochet is going single crochet. Continue this pattern all the way to this corner into each single crochet to one single crochet. Now I'm nearly finished this row 2 into this last stitch single crochet. Now I finished 2 rows. Row 3 start with the chain 1 turn your work other side into the next single crochet one single crochet into each single crochet to one single crochet this row three is going into each single crochet to one single crochet continue this single crochet all the way to here now i'm nearly finished this row three into this last stitch into this slip stitch is coming single crochet you can see I finished three rows. I'm gonna make into this single crochet for this pattern slip stitch. Now I can cut this yarn. You can tie this yarn. Now I finish these three rows for this each side. This is the buttonhole side and this is the button. We have to add the button for this other side. It's coming like this. You can add the button. When you add the button, I'm going to show you how to make the, these two sleeves. Now you can see I'm finished adding these two small buttons. Now I'm going to start the two sleeves. I'm going to make same pattern with the one round. If you're going to make the baby boy, you can leave it like this. If you're going to make the baby girl, you can use the, this one round for the this romper. I'm going to join this yarn into this corner. Chain 1. Into the first double crochet is coming 5 double crochet. This round I'm using back side for this stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4 and a 5 double crochet, 5 double crochet, skip next double crochet into the next, skip 1 into the next single crochet. 
now you can see this stitch I'm using back side this a 3d shape is coming to the back side for this stitch again into the next thing sorry next double crochet is coming five double crochet one two three four and a five double crochet skip next double crochet into the next single crochet now you can see it's really easy i'm going to show you one more into the first double crochet is coming five double crochet together three four and a five double crochet skip next single sorry next double crochet into the next single crochet now you know this pattern you can continue this pattern all around to this sleeves is coming into this five double crochet skip one into the this one single crochet continue this pattern all around to this round now i'm nearly finished this round into the next five double crochet together two three four and a five double crochet skip one into the next this is the last shell into this corner i'm using this corner and slip stitch now i finish this first round this leaves have a 27 double crochet then is coming nine shell we need multiple of three for this pattern you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine shell this nine shell for this zero to three month size other side is coming same way i just going to show you how to start the this side sleeves we are using back side for this stitch then we have to start in here i'm going to show you how to start this side sleeves i'm going to join this yarn into this corner you know this pattern now you can continue this pattern with this side sleeves i'm just going to show you how to start into the first double crochet is start with the five double crochet together two three four five double crochet skip next stitch into the next single crochet you can continue this pattern all around to this side sleeves i'm going to show you end of this side sleeves when you finish this romper with this set don't forget to share with me in our facebook group i give you a link in the description down below now i finish both sleeves it's coming so beautiful finishing in so comfortable for baby you can use this long sleeves cardigan with the same pattern and this matching hat i hope you will love this video if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below see you again with another video